I'm Kel, I'm a PhD in computer science, and this is how to make a good cup of coffee. All right, we start with our cup. Uh, what I like to do, and this is if you want a latte, um, what I like to do is uh, <coughs> use real milk. Uh, it, if you don't want to use real milk, that's fine. If you want like the best frothy kind of uh, drink, this is good stuff. Um, I usually fill up the glass first, just so that I get the amount right. Um, I'm gonna go about three quarters of the way, so. Uh, leave about that much room for uh, coffee, uh, and then we put this back. Um, this is the grinder. The grinder is set, okay? The, the grind, the consistency of the grind actually makes a huge difference uh, in how, well, you, can, you can zoom in or you can move closer, whichever you want to do. Uh, the consistency of the grind actually makes a huge difference in how the espresso comes out, so don't mess with this. Uh, you know, Scott Smith set this up and he's a pro and it's really good, so don't mess with it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your uh, filter and put it in here. The switch has two modes. Right now it's on the forward mode, uh, which does it automatically. I actually like the back mode, which is um, sort of always on. And if you can hear me, so I usually fill it up until it's overflowing just a little bit. And then um, just over the little coffee ground thing, you know, just, just kind of smooth it out so that it's, uh, you know, just about there. And then you take this guy, and this is gonna press this down. Now you actually wanna use a decent amount of force to compress this. They, they recommend like 20 pounds-ish, but you know, it's essentially, you know, putting it down in the center and then, you know, leaning on it pretty, pretty strong. And what you don't want is you don't want um, you know any little gaps in there. So if there's gaps, you just give it a little bit more, press that down, and now that's that's pretty good. So now uh, we want to get rid of the the excess and then strap it into the machine. So, so one thing that's good before we do anything is to rinse these both out. Uh, so you just turn this on for a little bit. It steams. Turn it off. You turn this on. A bunch of nasty goop will come out. Uh, somebody actually did this last time, so that's good. Uh, before you do anything and then you uh, want to seat this up into the machine So towards the left and then pull it towards the right until it's it'll, it'll feel pretty snug You know until it's almost straightforward and then uh, put something under it to catch The espresso now while this is going on. I'm also going to be steaming the milk um, So pour the milk into this container here uh, and then I'm going to be sticking the wand into this and I can't talk while this is going on because it's going to be really loud But you can just watch but the important part is is you don't want to Overcook the milk is it still rolling Am I five minutes? Okay, good. <laughs> you don't want to overcook the milk um, So what I do is if you hold the milk at an angle so that the wand is seated in the bottom corner of this And then you put your finger right there and as soon as it gets too hot to touch It's done because the milk is going to be circulating here and it'll heat uniformly um, but as soon as this gets too hot to, to, to keep your fingers there, stop. Okay, so generally I keep the uh, espresso on, depending on how it's coming out, if it's coming out fairly regularly, you know, if it's not like drip, drip, dripping, or if it's not pouring out, but if it's a nice steady stream, I keep it on for around 25 seconds or so. And then, uh, and then as I said, keep this in until it's, um, until it's too hot to hold. So I'm gonna do that in one step. go a little bit longer. There we go. And now for the finish. So you pour both of these, or whatever you, uh, some people like to do it directly into the cup. Pour both of these into your glass. And then the milk. And, I, and I'm really terrible at this. There are people who are like magic at doing it. 
Okay, and because of movie magic, my coffee is magically done. Um, there it is. But uh, what we want to do now is clean, okay? And that's the most important part because we don't want to have to buy another one of these. Uh, so we start by cleaning this. Just wash it out with hot water. And we put it back up here, okay? This guy gets dumped out. And then washed out until there's no brown liquid coming out the bottom. And it gets put back up. These guys get washed out. Back up here. Okay, so now the important part. The machine can get coffee and milk stuck up inside, okay? So because of that, after you're done, you wanna do two things. You want to run this, and all this nasty, juicy stuff will come out. And you want to run this, and all of the milk that was sucked up in there when it turned off will come out. Okay. Then you want to take a wet rag, and you want to wash this off until there's no like milky residue anywhere on the edge. Okay. And then the other thing I like to do is I like to pull this up, and this is just scalding water. So I just fill this guy up. and use it to just kind of wash this tray out. I won't get all of it, but it's better than just leaving it in there. You know, that didn't take very long. I'm not saying that you guys have to clean everything, but this is just that keeps it pretty nice. Okay, if you want to be more OCD than this, be my guest. Um, and then generally, we just want to kind of wipe everything else down. All of the spills and random mess that we made. Um, if this guy ever gets uh, full, um, there's another student here who has like a composting project for his garden. So please just dump this into here rather than in the trash. And if it needs to be tamped down a little bit, just you know, stick your hand in there and tamp it down. It's not, it's not going to kill you. Um, so we wipe everything down. We wipe the machine down, and we also wipe this guy down. Now I like to just pull the grounds off and then pull the tray, wipe this guy out, and then just rinse off the tray. And that didn't take hardly any time. And I think it's ready for the next person. Oh, and if you get stuff on the ground, it's nice to just wipe this out too. So, that's the way to make a cup of coffee. Enjoy.